So David, we are here at the Folsom Street Fair, and what are you laying in right now? Well, this is the uh, the official uh, Folsom Street Fair pool. We provide this as a service so that people don't have to wait in line at the porta potties, and uh, it keeps the off the street, away from the trees, and um, it's also fun. I was going to say, so is it more of a, a cleanliness service or more of like a fun thing for you to get done? Oh, it's mostly fun. I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun. But uh, but it, 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 we like to think that it's enlightening people as well. So, how, how is it enlightening? Oh, well, I mean, a lot of people have fantasies about play. And the, so the yellow and black group uh, and some of the other groups try to educate. And we are really, one of our missions is to get more clubs and places that could provide a venue where people can, can do water sports. Uh, a lot of uh, places could, but they don't don't think to do it. That's a good point, because there's not too many places I go to where they have a pool that people can lay in and get uh, urinated on. And there are relatively few parties, particularly for mixed gender. There are male, men-only parties in most cities. But uh, as far as we know, our drench parties for the yellow and black group are the only well, well-publicized um, parties for all genders and orientations. And how do I, how do we find those? Well, yellowandblack.org is my organization. And uh, we, we actually have a mailing list so people can get on to, to find out about them. The yeah, now I see you have business cards, but they're kind of wet. Oh, we have dry ones over there if you want to. <laughs> they're not all wet. Oh, well, I guess that's what's are. All right. Don't, I will give you those. That's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll remember yellowandblack.org. Um, now, so do you, is it only you who can be in the pool or can anybody? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Anybody can join in. Uh, it's absolutely free to climb in. And if you climb in, you are consenting for people to, to pee on you. Yeah, so like you don't have to, it's sort of an understood risk that if you walk into this pool. Yeah, it's, it's explicit. We have a sign up with our rules. And oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what are the main rules about being in the pool? Well, um, main thing is that you're consenting to be to be on. There's no charge either to climb in or to be on people, obviously. We try to get donations from photographers, but we don't insist. And uh, the other rules are we try to keep it off the, the, the pavement. Uh, as they say, it, it should be in the pool. And one of the rules is that we, uh, we discourage physical contact during water sports because then it becomes sex and you're not allowed to have yeah. sex on the street here. And I see you. It says uh, if you have an open mouth, that equals what? Well, it means I'm, I'm here to drink. I mean, I, I really like getting somebody to in my mouth and gulp it down. I like to say, when you have in somebody's mouth, you will never want to use porcelain again. That's, that's my... See, so yeah, don't, don't knock it till you try it, in other words. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's fun. It's a, I mean, a lot of people get into water sports for all different reasons, whether it's dominant submission or just the eroticism of the feeling of it. Some people get into it for infantilism. That's cool, too. Um, but most people just, it's, it's a sort of a... It's just kinky, and, and it's particularly fun because it is so taboo and yet relatively safe. And right. now, now, what about, excuse me, let me shift here a little bit. Um, how do you deal with, because uh, I imagine women would have a harder time just because they don't have the same sort of fu functionality that men do. Uh, as you saw on, the, on the, the rules, we actually have little devices, little cardboard devices oh. that uh, those equipped with vulvas can use. Little funnels. Yeah, funnels, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's yellowandblack.org, right? Yep. And also the House of Black Dragon. They're in Arizona, so but they don't have a website. So. And if you if you stop by Folsom Street, is there anyone who you wouldn't allow to pee on you? There's some people I might not drink it from if I thought they were high on certain drugs that I would not want to. Oh yeah, because I guess you could get. I don't know, meth. Most, most most things you can't get. Most are, I mean, drugs are designed to be metabolized. So filtered most, out. Yeah, yeah, really. But but there there are people. I would, but other than that, I'll, I'll let anybody on me. That that I definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and I, I come back later. Uh, Patty from the House of Back Back is uh, one of the real real hostesses here, and she loves to get 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 pissed on. She only discovered it a couple of years ago at this nice. booth, and she's become a, a true fan. And uh, I think. She's the first, I won't say the only uh, woman I've ever, uh, the only p I've ever p on, I think. <laughs> it's, it's, um.